I think the reason why skiing is addictive as a sport is because it's almost unnatural. You're strapping into wooden planks, you're pointing these downhill, and you're going 70, 80, 90 miles an hour. You're just in this kind of focus tunnel of, of freedom. It's almost like your brain and your feeling and your senses go into your feet, and you're at one with the snow, and you're just so fluid and connected in that moment, and that's how I feel when I ski. I love racing. I feel like I'm born to race. I've married a ski racer. We have competition in everything in our lives, from who can eat our food the quickest to who can ski a run the quickest. So it was really hard for me to retire, and actually I don't think I would have retired had it not been for my last surgeon. Before Sochi, I broke my leg three years um, in the four years prior to that. And, and the issue was when I crashed in Lake Louise in 2010, the bones of my right leg broke through my ski boots because of the g-force on landing. That was my first crazy big injury at a time in my life where I couldn't heal that quick. Just before Sochi, I broke my leg again and I thought, this is it, the dream's over. And sitting down with this guy in Zurich and he said, OK, it's going to be super quick, in and out. If it's not super quick, you'll never be able to ski again. And I woke up eight hours later and I said, how long, how long was I in surgery for? And they said, oh, six hours, you were in surgery for six hours. So straight away I go, that's it. It was all over, my dream, not just ski racing, but everything for me in the mountains was over.